The more than 2,000 YMCA's across the nation share a common vision to promote youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. The Greater Burlington Y serves everyone in the community, from infants in an early education program to seniors in a popular land and water exercise program. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers in the historic chapel at Vermont College of Fine Arts in Montpelier. And Mary Burns, President and CEO of the Greater Burlington YMCA, joins me. Mary, welcome to the program. Thank you. Let's start with the needs of the Greater Burlington community and also the, the reach of that. The reach is statewide. Um, we are the largest provider of child care in the state. We have programs from St. Albans to Barrie. And um, we recently have expanded that reach. Um, we've put together a leadership team with funding through the Robert Wood Johnson's Foundation to address childhood obesity across the state of Vermont. Um, and we will be making recommendations to the state legislature to really change some rules in the schools so that there's more physical activity, for instance. Um, so it's about physical activity and nutrition for children of all ages, beginning with the youngest age through high school. And you're also concerned about early education. Very much so. Yeah. Um, in the state of Vermont right now, there is a great need for care for children from the ages of zero to three, which is the most important time of a child's life as it relates to brain development. And as far as we were talking in the introduction about not just young, but also seniors and obesity on the child front, but also you're concerned about the health of seniors when it comes to diabetes. Diabetes, actually from the age of 18 through end of life, diabetes is one of the most expensive diseases in our healthcare system. And YMCAs have um, worked with the Centers for Disease Control on an evidence-based program to prevent diabetes. And we are doing that across the state of Vermont in partnership with the Vermont Blueprint for Health. So we are offering a program to Vermonters for free. Um, it's behavioral based, it's a 16 week program. We've seen great success. We've had over 163 folks through the program losing at least 7% of their body weight and exercising 150 minutes or more a week. And when you say behavior based, I mean, everybody says, oh my God, you're making me exercise. Right. Is this something that everybody can do easily? Everybody can do this easily. And it's a lot, you know, you're, you're, you're with folks just like you trying to live a better, healthier life. Right. And we all have things in common. I mean, mine is ice cream. Right. I mean, I have this ice cream. Habit. Mine is ice cream too. Okay, so maybe we could get in the same room together and decide we're not going to do the ice cream thing. But that's it's about providing support to one another um, and having someone lead that charge and, and really explaining that you have pre-diabetes today. You do not want to get diabetes tomorrow. And you actually mentioned with that program that it was free. And your why, I love this, bold statement your why makes, the why will never turn anyone away due to inability to pay. How does the Greater Burlington Y live up to that promise? So this is my passion. This, this, is, why, this is why I de I've devoted um, most of my life so far to the Y work. And it's because we're open to everybody. And it doesn't matter if you can afford our programs or it doesn't matter that, it, that, that you're working and you can, but something happened in your life. Um, and so we, we make sure that everyone has access to our programs. It's incredible when you look at the list of programs from infancy to seniors. I hope that people really take a look at the Greater Burlington Y. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us for Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.